Whether you are looking to ride on the street off-road or boat, Adventure helmets are an ideal option if you need versatility. But which of these helmets performs the best in what features you're getting and performances on the road in the real world? To find that out, we have put together our Champion Data Guide, where we have tested all top brands that are available on the market today. And in this video, you'll find out how they stack up. Hi everyone, my name is Liv from Champion Helmets and welcome to our channel. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all of our reviews, road tests and guides. While you're at it, hit that like button and let us know in the comments what you think of this video. Adventure helmets are first and foremost designed for versatility. After all, what's not to like about the option to go off-road, ride on the streets or do a mix of both with only one helmet? But since these helmets offer so much, where does this leave them in terms of performances on the road? This question is why we have given all the quality brand helmets to our test rider to try them out on the road with our measuring instruments. This means we have measured their noise, ventilation and more. So let's see how our contenders performed and let's see which one gets to take home the gold. As we get into testing, this is just a quick refresher for how we set up our road tests. On the left, we have a white monitor showing the helmet's inside temperature based on a thermometer that is placed between the EPS and the interior liner. In the middle, we have our decibel meter showing the noise level in the helmet from a microphone that is placed near our rider's ear. Lastly, on the right, we have a telephone showing the day's airspeed on the helmet from a bike mounted anemometer. Lastly, on the dash, we have our rider speed and the outside temperature. We conducted our tests at 130 km per hour on long stretches of highway. First of all, let's take a look at what these helmets are made of, since this has such a large effect on weight, safety and performance. For this part, we look at two points. The first point we look at from which material the outer shell is made. Here we have divided everything into three options increasing in quality. These are polycarbonate, fiberglass and carbon fiber. The second point we look at for material is the number of shell sizes in which the helmet is available. This is something that is often overlooked but that is really important. The more shell sizes a helmet has, the more compact around the head and safer it is. In addition, a helmet with a compact outer shell looks also better. Now let's take a look at the results that have emerged from the material part. First of all, we see the Arite Tour X4 taking the lead with an excellent score of 4.5 stars. The Tour X4 owes its excellent score to the no fewer than 5 shell sizes in which is available. Showy's Hornet ADV also does a little bit better than the rest in this part because the helmet comes in 4 shell sizes which is also excellent. Those who do disappoint are the Nolan N72X and the Scorpion ADX2. Both helmets only score 2.5 stars on material because the helmets are made of polycarbonate and are available in only 2 shell shell sizes. We also see that the helmets are fairly evenly matched. So let's see what these scores mean for weight. In our weight metrics you can see how the scores are built up. The lighter the helmet, the more stars it earns. To make a good comparison for the weight part we weight all helmets in a size M. So let's take a look at the results. The Klim Cryos Pro takes the lead in this section with a weight of only 1300 grams. With this special lightweight, the climb gets a well-deserved score of 5 stars. If we look farther, we see that the AGV AX9, the Aero Commander and the ADV also perform very well and score 4 stars for their lightweight. Who again disappoints us in this section are the Nolan N72X and the Scorpion ADX2. Both helmets weighed a lot heavier than the average and therefore only scored 2 stars on the weight part. We have now arrived at the visor part. To determine a score on the visor part, we look at all kinds of properties of the visor. Examples are whether the helmet is or isn't pinlock prepared and if the pinlock lens is standard included in the box. And even better is if it's a Max Vision pinlock. In addition, we also look at the visor mechanism. Is this a simple lever or does it have an advanced spring mechanism? Furthermore, we want to know if the helmet comes with an integrated sun visor, what the field of view is like, if there is a dark visor included for free or any other accessories. One option is obviously not the other option, so some points are therefore judged more heavily than others. In our visor metrics, you can see transparently how points are awarded per option. This way it is clear how the helmets got their score for the visor. Ok, now let's look at the results. The Schubert E1 is at the top in this section with an excellent score of 4.5 stars, where the Bell MX9 Adventure can be found at the bottom with a moderate score of only 2. We also see that in this section everyone is fairly evenly matched. 
Now let's see how the helmets compare when we talk about noise insulation. We measure the sound during our road test with a decibel meter which is mounted on our bike. Our rider rode long straights on the highway for each helmet and we have taken the average decibel score from this. These measurements were all made at a wind speed between 115 and 130 km per hour. A 1 decibel difference seems negligible at first impression, but with these kinds of values every decibel difference can be clearly heard, so every decibel does matter and is clearly audible. In this part we also use the score metrics that we have developed especially for our noise isolation test. The lower the number of decibel, the quieter the helmet is and the higher the number of stars the helmet scores. According to our metrics, a score below 98 decibels gives the ultimate score of 5 stars. Now let's see how our contenders did for noise. The Climb Cryers Pro stands out in this section with an average result of 98 decibels on the decibel meter. This score makes the Climb Cryers Pro not only the quietest adventure helmet, this helmet also belongs in the top 10 of the quietest helmets we have ever measured to date. Are you curious which other helmets are in the top 10? Then view our extensive data review, the top 10 quietest helmets of 2022. What is also striking is that the AGV AX9, the Icon for Ryan Pro and the Bell MX9 Adventure all three do not do too well on this part and therefore only earn a moderate score of 2 stars. Furthermore, everyone again scores average on the noise component. Ok, now we move on to another important part of a helmet which is the ventilation. To determine the score for the ventilation component we compare the temperature inside the helmet and the temperature outside. A well ventilating helmet efficiently removes heat and manages to keep the inside temperature the same as the outside temperature. Again, a short explanation on how we come to our results. If we take a look at our ventilation metrics, we also use band widths to determine our score. If it's not warmer inside the helmet than the outside temperature, we speak of an excellent ventilation. The lower the temperature difference, the more stars the helmet deserves for its ventilation. Now let's have a look to see how our helmets performed. If we put all competitors in a graph, we see that the Klim Cryos Pro, the Schubert E1, the Tour X4 and the Icon for Ryan Pro all score a nice 4 stars for their ventilation. Especially the Klim and the Icon are doing well on this part with the inside temperature in the helmet being the same as the temperature outside. Furthermore, we see that no one really excels when it comes to ventilation. Especially the Shoei Hornet ADV, the AGV AX9 and the Aero Commander score really below average in this part. The Aero Commander in particular let us down in this part with a difference of no less than 12 degrees. Speaking of ventilation, this helmet is one of the worst ventilating helmets we have ever tested, which is really disappointing. Ok, so far for ventilation. This brings us to comfort. This is also the only subjective part of our road test which we call comfort, but which actually includes much more than just comfort. In this section we assess the subjective criteria such as comfort, wind resistance, the view of the inner liner, the finishes and the overall view of the helmet. These are criteria that are difficult to capture in hard data and that is why for this part we rely on the more than 15 years of experience that our test rider has to his name. Our test rider has tested all of these helmets and can therefore compare the helmets like no other. We have extensively tested all these helmets in an individual review and they have been awarded with points for their comfort. We have collected all their scores and put them down in a graph for you. Now let's take a look at the findings of our test driver. To start off with, all our helmets are coming with removable, washable and antibacterial liners, which makes sense since these helmets are the best on the market. Though we have the Schubert and for Ryan Pro lagging behind slightly at 3.5 stars, here is where we have the Klim Cryos Pro, the Aride Tour X4, the Shoei Hornet ADV really standing out the most with 4 stars each. The Cryos Pro's liner was soft to the touch and very plush. The interior textiles are definitely Klim's strong suit considering their gear experience. But the Shoei and Aride were also incredibly comfortable thanks to their own soft fabrics. Aride's foam springs for a supportive fit and Shoei's high quality finishing. With one more category left to go, let's take a look at these helmets features. Since adventure helmets lists are meant to bring a lot of versatility, this should definitely be an interesting one to watch. For our final category, we have features. We look for a range of indicators to tally up the scores, all of which are based on what riders have asked us for over the years. This means that we are looking at communication system options, glasses fits, peak options, liner customization and more. 
And overall, we have a very interesting result since the Cryos Pro drops off somewhat here to two stars, since the features included were more sparse. Instead, we have the Shoei Arai, Nolan Scorpion and the Schuber taking the lead with three stars each. Though these helmets do offer a great level of touring level functions, it is the Arai Tour X4 that is bringing somewhat of the most fantastic features in our lineup. Not only is it very comfortable for glasses, but it comes with peel away pads to let you get your ideal fit. And there are even special foam springs in the cheek pads to make sure that they don't lose form over time. Now, since we've now got all of our data collected, we can take a look at how our helmets compare to get an idea of the bigger picture. Overall, we do see a great set of results from our helmets. Before looking at our top performance, it's important to mention the performance of the AGV AX9. In the end, we were slightly disappointed by its performance out on the road since it was hot, noisy and not very comfortable, even though it's very light. The Bell and the Iro also have a disappointing overall score. Our strongest performance out of the gate are the Klim Cryos Pro, the Schubert E1 and the Arai Tour X4. And the scores are all very close. This is actually good to see since not only does healthy competition bring you more options, but it also makes finding out which will come out on top even more exciting. But before we move on to our final scores, let's take a look at what happens when we factor in our helmet's prices. Since each helmet is offering you a different set of features and performances at different prices, it is important to also factor these into our rankings. For example, if two helmets perform the same, but one of them has a lower price, it scores relatively better. That's why we look at two variables to determine the value for money. The first is the average of numbers of stars. This mainly says something about the quality. The second is the euro per star amount. This mainly says something about the price quality. These two variables are both being used in our formula to determine the price quality score. This score is the last section we are going to look at before we come to our final ranking. At the top we see the Arai Tour X4 with an average of 3.6 stars at a cost of 23 euros per star, which is absolutely great. Next we see the Scorpion 80X2 with a neat average star score of 2.9 at a cost of 12 euros per star earned. Then we see the Klim Cryos Pro that has the highest average star score of 3.9 stars that come at a cost of 26 euros per star earned. The AGV AX9 also comes in at 26 euros per star, but this helmet has a star average of only 2.4. This means that the helmet is simply too expensive compared to the quality that the helmet delivers. With all of our points given out, we can now see which helmet came out as the best adventure helmet of 2022. To keep it exciting, we'll start at the bottom. On the 10th place, we find the Bell MX-9 Adventure that scored well or average on all parts. In 9th place, we then find the AGV AX-9 who came out on top in the weight part, but then again was one of the loudest helmets we have ever measured to date. On place 8, we find the Aero Commander that scores good on weight and the visor part, but really let us down in the ventilation component. Next, we see the Nolan N72X at place 7 who scored weak on material, its weight and ventilation, but came out strong in the visor and features part. Then at place 6 we see the Icon Variant Pro. This helmet was actually consistently strong in all areas, was nowhere the best, but was always competing. Only on ventilation and features the helmet just came a little bit short. Then our first helmet from the top 5, the Scorpion 80X2. This helmet scored strong on its visor, features and value for money. In 4th place we have the Showy Hornet 80V that scored strong in all areas except for the ventilation part. Three more contenders to go, but which one will come out on top? In third place we have the Schubert E1 with a nice champion helmet score of a 7.6 at a 23 euro per star. Well, at a close second we have the Arai Tour X4 at a score of an 8.1 at also 23 euros per star. This means that our best adventure helmet of 2022 is the Klim Cryos Pro with an excellent score of an 8.2 at 26 euros per star, which not only makes it a strong performer on the road, but a decent helmet in terms of value for money. That's all for the best adventure helmets of 2021, and it was definitely a close race. Though still coming in at the middle ground, we found these helmets have performed quite well on the road, with some even coming in with touring level noise isolation. But in the end, Klim is the rightful winner that scored consistently strong on all areas. So, if you liked the video, then make sure to subscribe to keep up to date on more data-driven helmet road tests like these and let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also take a look at championhelmets.com where we have our lowest price guarantee and nice discount bundles. If you have any further questions or you need help with your order, please feel free to contact us. My name is Liv from Champion Helmets, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.